Hey yo, what's going on guys? Hope you're having an awesome day today. And last night I was taking photos at a 21st and I was talking to someone, one of the people around this area that really wants to start a YouTube channel. She got everything together, she got the lights, she got the camera, but then as soon as she started talking to the camera, she was like, oh, uh, didn't sound good. Then she kept trying different ways and different ways of saying things and it just it wasn't working And she was just getting frustrated and she was like this is just so awkward. I cannot look at this It just makes me feel I, there's no way people are gonna watch this. No one's gonna care about my content I can't even speak to the camera or anything like that Then she said to me like how did you get to where you are now with talking to the camera? Like how do you have that confidence to just be able to speak to the camera and just be yourself? She reminded me of myself when I was starting out on YouTube like I was so awkward when talking to the camera it might not have seemed super awkward it might I don't know some of my friends say I was awkward but then some of them say I wasn't but they were probably just doing that for sympathy just to make me feel better <laughs> when I was speaking to the camera like I would just be like that just does not sound right and I'll get really frustrated and then I would give up but then come back to it later and then I'll just give up again and it's really frustrating I get it especially when you're just starting out Starting out is the toughest part. And I was thinking things like, oh, maybe I'm not even gonna get better at this, or maybe I should do some sort of acting course or improv course so that I'm able to speak to the camera with more confidence. So just know you're not alone. I've been there. You will get better at it if you're willing to work for it. So today I'm gonna break this video down into five different tips on ways from my experience will get you to be better at talking to the camera and how I've gone from where I was to where I am today. Tip number Number one, meditation. Now I know what you guys are thinking, like how is meditating gonna get me to be better at talking to the camera? If you are focused on a million different things at the same time, it's very hard to speak to the camera when you're not fully focused on what you're saying. What it will do is it will bring them back down and you will center yourself and you'll have more focus on what you wanna do and more focus on what you wanna say. And it really just points you in the trajectory in your life that you need without all the distractions and living in the past or the future. You're living in the now and you're focusing on the now. And that is so important when you're speaking to the camera. And it can be tough. Like meditating is not an easy thing to do consistently, especially when you're caught up in life and you have all of these different things that you wanna be doing. It's hard to take five to 10 minutes out of your day when you're not even really thinking about it too much to just sit down and reflect. Like I have problems with this as well. And a lot of the time I get caught up in what I'm doing, but it's really important to sit down, reflect, center yourself, and then have that focus at its peak. So give it a try and let me know down in the comment section below how you go with it. And I'm confident that it will help you, even if it's just the slightest bit. It helps me immensely, but just give it a go. And that brings me on to tip number two know the point that you're trying to get across. If I don't know exactly what I'm saying, it's much more difficult to get the point across because it's like I'm just talking and then I keep trying to talk, but then I'm like, does this even make sense? And then I just stop because it doesn't actually end up making much sense at all. It works sometimes, but it's not an easy thing to do. Like maybe some people can do it and if they're really good at improv, coming up with things on the spot, me personally, I need to know what I'm talking about and then I'll talk about it. Tip number three is know whether you're better at talking just to the camera or talking to the camera with someone behind the camera. I used to actually get a photo of someone that I knew and put it right next to the lens. So as if I was talking to that person, but then just making eye contact with the lens. Just working around it and doing different things and trying to find what works for you specifically, that can really help in your progression with talking to the camera. I find it easier to talk to the camera when I have other people around because my personality as it is, I'm a very extroverted person. I get a lot of my energy talking to other people and just mingling, like I'm a very social person. That works for me. That's not the same for everyone else. Like I know YouTubers like PewDiePie, he even said in one of his videos that he's not able to talk to the camera when there's other people around. He just wants to be in his studio He's comfortable and he talks straight to the camera, straight to the audience without other people around in the studio. So you gotta figure out whether it's easier talking around other people to the camera or just straight to the camera and that's it. Tip number four, knowing that you can cut the stuff that doesn't matter. Now, whether this be the arms, the R's, the pauses, or just any information that doesn't serve 
the purpose to the point that you're trying to convey across to the audience, you can cut it out. The fact that you know this can bring some real comfort into yourself while you're speaking to the camera. I probably talk for about 20 minutes or more and I cut out just all of the unnecessary stuff. And trust me, there's a lot of unnecessary things that I say. So next time you go to talk to the camera, just know you're able to cut out all of the stuff that you don't want in it. The last tip, tip number five. It just takes practice. And I know this is probably the last thing you wanna hear because it's like so cliche and all that. But the thing is, back when I started out, I was not myself in front of the camera. I was just kind of awkward. And even my friends would tell me that it's like, I don't know about like you talking to the camera and stuff. And I know, real supportive friends, right? <laughs> it doesn't even matter what it is. When you're starting something, you can't expect to be really good at it on the first day, just get go. It's impossible. I'm saying it straight up now. It's impossible to be really good at speaking to the camera unless if you've had previous experience doing other jobs that require speaking straight to the camera like news reading or whatever. You're not gonna be the best at the start and you have to realize that. And that is the biggest thing that stops people from making YouTube channels. They have this idea that no one's gonna care about them because they're not even being themselves and they just think it's awkward. But the thing is, this is where you have to let go. You have to completely let go of what other people think because if you care too much about what society thinks, and I say this in so many of my videos, you're not gonna go anywhere in life. Like you, okay, that's a big statement. You will go somewhere, but you're really limiting your potential if you care too much about what society thinks. You just gotta have that internal confidence and just trust yourself. Like, look, I know I'm not great at this now, but, I know with practice and patience and just persistent and consistently doing it, I know that I'm gonna get better and better and reach my goal. You have to have that mentality. If you don't push yourself at least to get the first video out, second video and everything like that, you're just not gonna make it. That's the thing. If you're thinking about making a YouTube channel, you're just too scared. There's no way that you're gonna get anywhere with it. Take that risk of getting criticism from other people and people talking behind your back about you. Like you just have to take that risk. If you're anyone that's just putting yourself out there and you're distinguishing yourself from the crowd, people are obviously gonna talk about you because anything that strays from the norm, people tend to hate on. And no matter what you do, the more successful you become, the more haters you will get. It's just up to you to just not even listen to it because it's just not worth it. Like these people are the people that are not successful. I do not know one successful hater. Every keyboard warrior on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, whatever it may be, none of them are successful. And you just have to know that. The first video, the first couple videos are always the hardest to get out because it's just all about taking that leap of faith and you're just like, you're so scared, you're so nervous. But then once you actually get into the rhythm of making videos and just realizing how much you just do not care about what other people think, your chances of being successful are like, pff, you actually have a chance. I would much rather take the risk and have the chance of being successful than not taking any risk at all and just not having any success and just be content with living a mundane life, not doing what you want to do. How's that for a motivational speech? If there's any other tactics that you guys have in mind that I've kind of missed out on, then let me know down in the comment section below because I'd be interested to know and we can speak about it. It's good to get that whole message out to the world because people need to be more confident. They need to come out of their shell more. You just need to do what you want to do. If you guys like this video, please click that like button and subscribe. You know what to do. It was awesome hanging out with you guys again and I'll catch you guys next time.